This video is going to feature a hospital go bag, which is a set of supplies that you could bring with you for an extended trip to the hospital. Let's get started. In the world of emergency preparedness, we are oftentimes heavily focused on creating emergency kits like bug out bags, get home bags, and more. I have created many of these type of kits myself over the years and have documented them on my channel. To be honest, I've never needed to use one of these kits during an actual emergency situation. However, that doesn't mean that I haven't been through various emergency situations. There have been several times where either myself or someone in my family has needed to go to the hospital for surgery, the birth of a child, or an unexpected trip to the ER. I was recently reading some posts in the Preppers subreddit and saw one by a Reddit user named Pramar16 titled Preparing for Hospitalization. Pramar16 describes herself as a young prepper who has been disabled her entire life and has had to go in and out of the hospital since she was a kid for weeks to months at a time. In her post, she described a hospital go bag that contains the items that she would bring with her during an extended hospitalization stay in addition to logistics planning such as designated someone to speak for you if you can't or if you are out of it, ensuring that all bills are scheduled for automatic withdrawal, and creating a plan to take care of pets or kids while you are away. Her post received a lot of great feedback from other Reddit users who had their own recommendations for items to include in a hospital go bag. I was very inspired by this young prepper's insight to preparing for hospitalization, so I decided to gather up all of her hospital go bag items in addition to the recommendations from the other Reddit users in the post to build a hospital go bag for myself that was heavily based on it, with my own additions and organization approach, of course. After receiving so much positive feedback in her original post, Pramar16 left a follow-up comment that thanked everyone, but it also said, Many people think that since I am disabled, I am useless in an SHTF situation, but I try to make up for my physical problems with having more knowledge than the average Joe. So I want to dedicate this video to Reddit user Pramar16 and let her know that she is not useless in an SHTF situation and that she has inspired me greatly. Hopefully this video will inspire those of you watching as well. So let's start going through all the items included in the hospital go bag. Let's start off first with the travel suitcase itself. This is a Samsonite, AKA the Mary Swanson carry on 20 inch suitcase. Any bag will really do for a hospital go bag. I found this one on sale for a screaming deal. I like that you could roll it in the hospital hallways so you don't have to worry about carrying the weight like you would a backpack or duffel bag. I've slowly been moving a lot of my emergency kits over to these hard shell travel suitcases because I think they work great in an urban environment. Again, a 20 inch travel suitcase by Mary Swanson. I've also included a name tag that you could place on the suitcase to let people know that it's yours. The first item that I have at the very top is a clipboard. This is a Saunders Red Slim Mate plastic storage clipboard. This thin clipboard could be used for holding paper, pens, in addition to having your hospital go bag checklist or a list of medications handy. I've created a PDF document that you could download of the hospital go bag checklist, which is a scaled down version of my normal PDF and you could just go through it one by one through all the items to make sure that you have all of them included in your hospital go bag. It also includes a page for listing your medications, medical conditions, who to contact and more. I have this available in links in the description box below in both PDF and Word document file formats. So I include these on the outside of the storage clipboard. Inside that storage clipboard, I also have a notebook. This is the five star spiral notebook with college ruled paper. You could use this to write down any questions that you have for hospital staff or general notes for yourself. You may also decide to start writing a journal to talk about your hospital experience. Either way, it's good to have some paper on hand. To go along with it, I also have a pen and a pencil. This is the Pentel Sharp mechanical drafting pencil, which is my all time favorite. And I've also included a highlighter pen. This is the bright liner highlighter chisel tip in yellow. I've included this just in case you need to highlight any important items listed on hospital paperwork. And those are all of the items stored in that storage clipboard. You could also use it for storing the various hospital paperwork that you'll most likely get during your hospital stay. The next item included is a laptop. Now this isn't always stored in this particular kit, but if it's time to go and you have some anticipation that you're gonna be going to the hospital for a little bit, it's a good idea to have a laptop on you. You could use it for writing emails to family and friends, surfing the web, watching movies, and so much more while on the hospital Wi-Fi network. The next item is a reading light. This is a blue light blocking amber clip-on reading light by Huga. This clip-on could help provide illumination if you are doing any late night reading. Plus, if you happen to have a roommate, this will help not disturb them if they are asleep. Again, a clip-on reading light. The next item is my clothing module. It's stored in an e-bags classic large packing cube in the color eggplant, AKA purple. This is used for storing spare clothes and pajamas. I really like using these storage cubes for a lot of my various kits. And my plan is to have each family member have their own clothing module on hand that they could add on to this hospital go bag if need be. Here are the items included in my clothing module. The first item is a t-shirt. 
Just grab an old t-shirt out of your dresser drawer and use it for this particular kit as your hospital going away outfit. I think it's best to have it be an oversized t-shirt just in case you're a little bit sore. So don't include an extra medium shirt or anything that's real fashionable and tight fitting. That's probably not the best for this hospital go bag. The next item are some backup socks, again for your going away outfit. I've also included some underwear. These are my favorite underwear. It's the Ex Officio Men's Give and Go Boxer Briefs. It's good to have backup underwear on hand. And then the last item included in the clothing module are some pajama pants. These are Fruit of the Loom Men's Woven Sleep Pajama Pants. I think it's good to have oversized pajama pants that are super easy to put on, lightweight, and comfortable. Again, you may be very sore and you're not going to want to put on skinny jeans or anything like that. So again, some lightweight, oversized pajama pants. And those are all the items included in that clothing module. And last, we have some slippers. These are the Rock Dove Men's Original Two-Tone Memory Phone Slippers. I love using hospital socks, but these could be used when walking in the hallways or when finally leaving the hospital so you don't have to attempt to tie your laced shoes. Crocs would be a really nice option too. So again, some slippers. And those are all of the items included in this section of the hospital go bag. Now let's move on to the next section of the hospital go bag, starting off first with the electronics module. I'm using these colored zippered pool bags for the various modules included in this kit. It's used for storing some of the smaller items and it's based off of the color of prepping concept. The first item included in the electronics module is a USB power bank. This is the Anchor Power Bank PowerCore Slim 10,000 milliamp hour ultra slim portable charger. You wanna make sure that you keep your cell phone charged throughout your hospital stay with this awesome power bank. To go along with it, I also have included a USB wall charger. This is the Anchor Elite dual port 24 watt wall charger. This is used to not only keep your cell phone charged, but also to keep your USB power bank charged as well. Anchor makes awesome products and I use them in all of my kits. Next, we have an extra long USB cable. I use a type C cable for my particular smartphone. So this is used for charging your cell phone in addition to charging the power bank. I think that you should bring an extra large one, this one is 10 feet, since power outlets might not be located at a convenient location. So again, an extra long charging cable for your smartphone. I also have an additional charging cable for the reading light, which we discussed earlier. The next item is a headset. This is the Sony MDR XB50 AP slash L extra bass earbud headset. This could be used for listening to music and audiobooks, watching YouTube videos, or for making hands-free phone calls. Again, if you're at the hospital, you probably don't want to be holding up your cell phone to your head. So just use these wired headsets instead. And those are all the items included in the electronics module. While the hospital will have a pharmacy department that could fill up your normal prescriptions, it's a good idea to bring a few days worth of the prescriptions that you take on a day-to-day -day basis. While this is probably the only emergency kit that I've made that does not include a first aid kit because you're at a hospital after all, it's still a good idea to include a few days worth of the prescription medications that you take. The next item are some vomit bags. These are 1000 milliliter disposable vomit bags. The hospital should have these ready to go, but just in case, have a few extra in your hospital go bag. The next item included is a framed family photo. I think it's a good idea to bring a framed photo of your family or someone else that's special in your life for morale purposes. Just put this up in your room and you could look at it to remember the people that care about you, as you might be going through a rough situation during your hospital stay. Again, a framed family photo. The next items included are some Travel John disposable urinal bags. If you really have to go and you can't get out of the hospital bed, these urinal bags work great and they do not leak. I previously did a review video of these Travel John disposable urinal bags and they're awesome. So I have a couple of them handy just in case. Also included in this section is the charger cable for the laptop. You may want to include a six foot extension cord just in case the power outlet isn't nearby. But again, make sure you bring your laptop charging cable. The next item is a food module. These items are stored in another one of those colored zippered pouches. Again, in the color of prepping, green represents food. The first item included are some Altoids. And no, this isn't the Altoids EDC kit. These are just some mints to help keep your breath fresh. The next items included are some hard candies. These are the Brock's Party Mix individually wrapped hard candies. Assuming that it's okay with the hospital staff, it would be nice to have some candies on hand for morale purposes again. I've also included a few Cliff Bars in this food module not only for myself as the patient, but also for guests. Also included in this food module is some cash. Starting off first, I have a roll of quarters. This could be used at the vending machines for getting snacks or at the hospital cafes. I've also included 20 $1 bills also for the vending machines and the hospital cafe. The last item included is some salt and pepper. This is the Joseph Joseph Go Eat Compact Magnetic Salt and Pepper Shakers. As Pramar 16 mentioned, hospital food is known for being extremely bland. So if it's okay with the hospital staff, have some salt and pepper on hand to help flavor up your food. Again, some mini travel salt and pepper shakers. And those are all the items included in this small food module. 
The next items included are some dry erase markers. These could be used to write down information on the whiteboard that is placed in hospital rooms for providing things like phone numbers, messages to nurses, and more. For morale purposes, maybe your kids could write down a little message on the board before they leave. Again, some dry erase markers. The next item is some hand sanitizer. This is the Purell Advanced Hand Sanitizer. The hospital will most likely already have gel stations to gel in and gel out, but it's probably a good idea to have a personal one nearby. The next item is a book. This should preferably be an uplifting book during this time of stress. One option is to include religious texts like the Bible. An Amazon Kindle would be excellent if you could afford having a dedicated one in this hospital go bag. For the time being, I'm going to include an Austin Chambers book. Link in the description box. The next item is a hygiene module stored in a white zippered pouch. Let's start going through all those items now. So this is just a basic hygiene module that contains a toothbrush, toothpaste, dental floss, deodorant, and nail clippers. You could also include other hygiene items that are specific to you, like a hairbrush or even feminine hygiene products. But just put a little hygiene kit together. The next item is a deck of cards. These are bicycle playing cards. There are countless card games out there for entertainment purposes to help the time go by. So again, just a deck of cards. The next item included are some straws. These are the high wire reusable stainless steel metal straws. When you're in bed and possibly sick, it's much easier to drink with a straw. The hospital will have plastic straws available, but having some on your own would be handy. These ones are stainless steel and reusable. The next item are some earplugs. These are the Max Pillow soft silicone earplugs. These are listed as the original moldable silicone putty earplugs for sleeping. Hospitals could be noisy places with machines beeping and loud neighbors. These will help block out any unwanted noise. Next, we have some baby wipes. These are the Kirkland Signature baby wipes. These are the go-to baby wipes for a lot of parents. For this hospital go bag, they could be used for wiping your face and hands or even cleaning surfaces around your hospital bed. Most likely, you won't be taking a shower while you're at the hospital, so these could serve as a makeshift washing capability. To go along with those baby wipes, we also have some toilet wipes. These are the Dude Wipes Flushable Wipes. Dude wipes are 25% larger than the average flushable wet wipes, and they're unscented with naturally soothing aloe vera and vitamin E to protect your sensitive sides. Treat yourself and your butt like the king of the throne with dude wipes. And the last item included in this hospital go bag is a sleep mask. This is the concave molded night sleep mask. These can be used to help you sleep just in case the bright lights or unfamiliar environment prevents you from sleeping. So again, a sleep mask. And those are all of the items that are stored in this hospital go bag. I believe that a hospital go bag is a practical emergency kit that we should all have ready to go. While we may never use our bug out bags, we will all most likely need to go to the hospital at some point, whether that be for the birth of a child due to COVID-19 or in an emergency room surgery that has us incapacitated for a few days while in the hospital. Hopefully this version of a hospital go bag inspired by Primar 16 will give you ideas on what to include in your own kit. Most likely you could use many items that you probably already own and just need to organize into a dedicated kit so it's ready to go in case of an emergency. So thank you Primar 16 for providing your insight into this practical emergency preparedness topic. Please leave your comments below in the comment section regarding this video. I'm sure many of you have additional item recommendations that you would include in a hospital go bag. So again, leave those in the comment section. As I mentioned earlier, there's a PDF document that you could download in the description box below. It has a list of all the items that were covered in this specific kit. And I've also included an additional PDF and Word doc that contains the hospital go bag checklist that you could use for easily marking off which items to include in your own kits. So I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video and stay tuned for more videos. See you guys next time.